Good afternoon, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to our midday meditation. Today we're in Isaiah 29, verses 9 through 16. Pause and wonder, blind yourselves and be blind. They are drunk, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with intoxicating drink. For the Lord has poured out on you the spirit of deep sleep, and has closed your eyes, namely the prophets. And he has covered your heads, namely the seers. The whole vision has become to you like the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one who is literate, saying, Read this, please. And he says, I cannot, for it is sealed. And the book is delivered to one who is illiterate, saying, Read this, please. And he says, I am not literate. Therefore the Lord said, Inasmuch as these people draw near with their mouths and honor me at their lips, but have removed their hearts far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the commandment of men, therefore, behold, I will again do a marvelous work among the people, this people, a marvelous work and a wonder, for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hidden. Or to those who seek deep to hide their counsel far from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. They say, Who sees us, and who knows us? Surely you have things turned around. Shall the potter be esteemed as the clay? For shall the thing made say of him who made it, He did not make me? Or shall the thing formed say of him who formed it, He has no understanding? All right. So what we have going on here is the children of Israel, um, Specifically, this is a woe against Jerusalem, but the children of Israel as a whole, the entire nation, Judah and Israel, all the tribes, have uh, been in a place of disobedience. And uh, Tyler, if you don't care, flip over and grab John 8, 31 and 32. The simple truth is, when we embark upon a path of active disobedience, we can maintain all the correct external ritual but we will be in a spiritual sense like a drunk man um, and, and, and a blind man. And uh, go on ahead and read John 8, 31 and 32. And Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, You abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. He said to those Jews who believed him or believed on him? Who believed him. Okay. Shame on you, King James. To those Jews who believed in Jesus, you are my disciples if you keep my word. Translation, you are my students whose desire is to be like me as long as you keep doing what I'm telling you. And when you do, then you shall know the truth, which is who I am, and then I shall make you free. And that's the point here. You know, another place Jesus says to them that, you know, when they obey the command of God, they'll know that his doctrine is from God and they'll have that understanding that they seek. Tyler, you ever made a cake? Yes. All right. Many cakes? Not many, no. All right. First cake I ever made, this is before you were born. You may have heard about it or seen them in thrift stores. I think they brought them back for a while, maybe when you were a little kid. But some of y'all watching, do you remember the light bulb ovens? You know, the little oven that was about that big, screwed the light bulb in, and it had a little cake mix. My sister had one of those. I hijacked it one time to make one of those little cakes in it. Um, to say I was disappointed would have been an understatement. I don't know what I thought it was going to be like at four years old, five years old. It wasn't the greatest thing ever. All right. Um, as time went on, though, you know, I, I got to where I could make bigger cakes. Now, if I want to, Tyler, I can make a good German chocolate cake. I don't bake very often. I'm just, I don't. Um, when I do, I'm a good cook. Uh, for two reasons. Two reasons. Number one, I follow the instructions in the recipe. And number two, I follow the instructions in the recipe. I know that I make a good German chocolate cake. But here's how I know. I read the instructions. Then I assembled the materials and the proper measuring implements. And then I followed the instructions. 
And the result was, I made a good German chocolate cake. You see, that's the point. That's what he's saying. He says, you know, sleep's closed your eyes, the prophets. It means you guys can't understand him. You got a veil over your heads walking around blind. That's what the seers are to you. Why? Because in your heart, you're not even close to me. You say all the right stuff. You do the right stuff externally, but you're someplace else. And that's why you don't know who I am or what I'm about, says God. And the bad part is when someone, I love when people go, today we are so much more advanced than people in years past. Really? Then how come we haven't learned anything? Why is it we have all the same problems we've always had? Oh, no, no, we don't. Yes, we do. We have all the same problems we've always had, and some of them are worse right now than they've been in a long time. That's why. And when you and I look at it and we say, why don't people want to come to the church? And <laughs> I'm, I'm in a metal. Because we do all the stuff on the surface, but in our hearts we're any place else but in the worship service. And other than that one hour a week, most of the time, most of us really don't care what the Bible says. Only insofar as it affects our politics and our quality of life. And then we go, but the Bible says... But on like 99 other points, we're like, well, God's got me covered by grace. Unfortunately, that was the same attitude Israel had. You remember what John said to him? And this was, and this, I know I'm not, I'm not wrong on this. John said to the Pharisees and the Sadducees and all the people who came out, he said, don't think that because you're descended from Abraham and say, we are Abraham's descendants. What were they saying? We've got this covenant with God. We're good. John said, let me tell you, boys. The rocks in the river that I'm standing on and baptizing people in, if God wants, he'll raise up out of rocks. Human beings with more sense than y'all who would be better children of Abraham. That attitude's permeated people for thousands of years. And that's why we have to be more diligent right now if we're going to see things change in all the world. You got any thoughts, my brother? No, sir. Brian Reagan, we're out of here.